Happy Friday, Floss Tube, and welcome to another Friday Floss Toss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Caroline, and my friend Carrie's here. I'm the owner of Evertote. And I'm Carrie, and the owner of Roxy Floss Co. So we've got a Floss Toss video for you today, uh, We and some, some new bags that are in the shop. A few new things going on over at Evertote in the online shop, so we thought we'd give you a close-up peek. Should we start with uh, linen and floss combos? Yeah. Okay. We've got, uh, so I said that, and then I'm going to show you two new books we've got in the shop. Because <laughs> they were right on top. And I want to chat great. about, I want to, <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to chat about these with the with the linen and floss. So these are, uh, this is Teresa Vanette's newest book, Most Humble Hands. It is full, chock -a block full of beautiful marking samplers. The other one is Red Letter Day that um, is her last book release and um, we've brought it into the shop here as well, full of amazing samplers. I did a bit of a flip through on my floss tube video yesterday over on Off the Grid Needle Arts. So we've got some linen and floss combos here. Uh, we've got a fair number of mini hanks in the shop. A lot of our mini hanks are one of a kinds. Yeah. that uh, Carrie has died and they're just just the absolute perfect thing for monochromatic charts and what does then, Daniel call them the humility collection <laughs> <laughs> she she's being very modest her mistakes are pretty beautiful mistakes so uh, okay so let's just quickly tell you about the linen here we're gonna start off with we have cherry cobbler uh, it's a beautiful magenta burgundy. We have it in all the counts, and this is now a staple in the Roxy Flosco linen collection. A few mini hanks that we've got in stock. In one in particular jumps out at me as a perfect match on this linen is Figure Skates. Figure Skates is a, I believe it's a one of a kind from Floss Club a number of months ago, and we have individual skeins as well as a few mini hanks in stock. It's got a beautiful pinky blush. It's really nice and tonal. Undertone and the combo on cherry cobbler is really nice. So that's figure skates. And then if I'm, I've got a big bucket of mini hanks here. I don't know, what do you think about a green? Would you do a green? Uh, it works, I see it working. I It's not my bag. Yeah. I love that green, I love the linen. I just probably wouldn't put them together, but yeah. they do work. Yeah. But it's really nice. As far as other colors that work on Cherry Cobbler that we do not have mini hanked up. Actually, we do, but I just don't have one with me. Antique wedding dress. Oh yeah. This last mini this that you just showed, it's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Top choice. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. That I was saving for, um, oh, anyways, yeah. I'm getting distracted here. Okay, so this is Antique Wedding Dress, which is a beautiful ecru, and it looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, I would probably, I would probably go with something with more of a pinky tone. I think frosting or... Oyster is an oh, yeah. ecru that has a slight pinkish undertone. Yeah. But then if you want, want to do a brighter. more whiter, um, off-white, we've got frosting or milkshake. Both of them have pinky undertones, but as you can see, milkshake, slightly brighter white. Just bring you in a little bit here. Slightly brighter whitey pink, and then the frosting is a little bit more muted, a little less pink. For me, I think the oyster would be brilliant for like a reproduction uh, reverse. Ooh, one like, color yes. But then as soon as you go into milkshake or frosting, it starts getting very modern, like, yes. uh, like a long dog or something. Yeah. We actually paired oyster with cherry cobbler for the modern folk embroidery a la rose which oh, okay. is the the that is the relief stitching okay. in fact yeah so oh, that's right yeah yeah so that one went with that so 
So there's some options mm -hmm. for cherry cobbler. Then what have I got next in the pile here? Porcelain. Porcelain, well, any kind oh, of yeah. green combo is going to look go. good on that, right? So this is, we have a number of hanks of this. This is a an absolutely beautiful variegated green, and it's called Sorrel. So S-O-R-R-E-L. There's your variegation there. I love that one. Yeah. And that is the bok choy, also one of a kind. You can see the variegation in that one. Beautiful. Yeah, either of those would just be brilliant on, on this. Or a combo with, um, you know, like a modern folk embroidery two-tone yeah. monochromatic. You could even throw that, this one, Ooh. in with it. So this is creme brulee. Yeah, that's that nice. So good. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that's creme brulee. That is a that is not a one of a kind. This is a fully repeatable floss and super pretty. Yeah, that looks great with the greens. Um, okay, so switching gears but sticking with porcelain because I'm I'm somewhat low level obsessed with the <laughs> Teresa Vanette books. We have some one of a kind reds. Uh, this is called Suit Yourself. That is um, this was a this was a one of a kind red that we used for the December 2022 Floss Club. And we actually, this red was so awesome that we gave two skeins, like we put one skein in each pack of the monthly floss clubs. And mm -hmm. we actually built the whole club. Remember that? Yeah. Built the whole club around that red. I actually don't remember. I'm just agreeing <laughs> with you. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, after, after 17 months of floss club. <laughs> My inner dialogue is like, listen to the brain on her. <laughs> Holy memory. She can't do math, but she can remember <laughs> floss colors. So that's suit yourself. We did, um, yeah, so people who were in the December Floss Club who received it got two skeins of this. It's a beautiful red. And I think it's a great monochromatic sampler red. Uh, and it is one of kind. I think I've got six mini hanks of it left. So still a few. If you prefer a brighter red, like a, like a modern Christmas red, I think Lucille is, so there you can see the difference between yeah. the two. Lucille has just a slightly brighter, more modern undertone to it. So that's Lucille on porcelain. Gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Panettone, which this is the new dye lot of Panettone, which can read a little bit more it has a few more of the sort of rust mm -hmm. undertones coming out and i i cannot tell you how much i love green on panettone yeah it just it it's such a compliment to each other so that is, and i wouldn't probably put creme brulee on it i think creme brulee might be a bit too light yeah but this is our newest, this is Carrie's, it's the Royal oh. Hour. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Carrie has the new Virlanda floss. And look at that. Look oh, at that, wow. Right? Oh, throw Lady Marmalade in there for a punch. Oh, okay, watch this. Are you ready? Watch it. Are you watching? Are you watching? <laughs> Everybody, watch. Don't look away. <laughs> Bang. Bang. <laughs> Bam! That's Bam. Emerald. <laughs> Bam! I wonder if Emerald has that. Yeah, uh, Lady Marmalade much. is just, yeah, sorry, these are still on old tags, but, oh, look at that. Lady Marmalade and Virlanda together, Yeah, that's amazing. And Lady Marmalade with green, that's just gorgeous. Honestly, I think this was a temperature thing um, in my studio that that rust came up. You think so? Because my last batch of panettone, it's fine. Well, so it's, it's a bizarre. hand dyed, right? You, yeah. You get what comes out of the pot That's and right. it's beautiful. 
Um, and I, what I really like about this is that it's perfect for anything reproduction yeah. or antique but just this particular dye lot would be fantastic for seasonal, like um, Halloween stitchers or oh, autumn, yeah. autumn stitchers. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, purple on that would be oh, amazing. Yeah. We've got, though not this shade. This is Nostalgia. I probably, I don't know if I put that on there. Um, ooh, okay, now hear me out. Oh, I'm down with that. Yep. There. Yeah. Totally That's different fine. feel. So this is Grinch, um, which is also very similar to Grouchy, which is, a, it's a staple in the shop, and it's just a bright, vivid green very modern really really poppy and pretty and the the thing with those colors of floss is that when you look at them on the skein you think what the heck am i going to stitch with that but as soon as you start to work it into the fabric the mm -hmm. fabric itself tones it down oh yeah and so the very fact that it's so vivid um helps it sort of stand on its own even if you put like a just navy with this oh that with just navy is amazing yeah with that color combination. In fact, that's one of my favorites. I almost redid my song of the Nightingale. Oh, really? With just navy because it's. I, I have to go get it. So I went and got two blues. So this is, that's just navy. Yeah. Which I love, and even that with Lady Marmalade. Yeah. But I also. I think even. More. More better. More better, yet. Planetarium. Yeah, definitely. Right? With the with the Just Navy, you've kind of got like three mi mid-tones. Three mid-tones, but you add the Planetarium, yeah. and it's like, it's that's really good. And yeah. Planetarium also comes in a mini hank. I think we might be sold out, but that's a standard color. Sold we out. could. That's an easy fix. Actually. That's an easy yeah. fix. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, can, Carrie can redo those ones. Yeah. So yeah, so there's some ideas um, for, so today was for me, and I, I, I've got Carrie on board here, we're concentrating on monochromatic, um, you know, designs with our mini hanks and colors, just giving you some ideas. We're self-enabling. So we are totally <laughs> self-enabling. Oops. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so I've had some questions about, oh, one more, one more, because I can't leave this one. This is Coco Loco, which is just the most perfect, perfect brown you've ever seen. So some options for Coco Loco. We've got creme brulee, which looks beautiful. I'm just going to close this window just a little bit more. Cut down on the... Getting it washed out. I think that's a bit better. There we go. Okay, so that's creme brulee. And then we also have in mini hank form, and these are definitely one of a kind. I think I've got three left. This is rhymes with orange, which I think is a really great that's fun. monochromatic, more modern combo. Yeah. Like I could see doing a one of the ink circles, oh yeah, Cirque de Cirque or the triangle one, mm -hmm. but also Lady Marmalade. She gets around a little more muted, but absolutely yeah. beautiful. So that's Lady Marmalade on Coco Loco. She looks amazing. There we go. Okay, cool. so I've had some questions about candy apple and what white or ecru would look the best on candy apple. Mm -hmm. So this is Carrie's newest linen and it is a real, I think it's a showstopper. I think you really it. knocked it out of the park. Thank this you. is a repeatable, it's now a staple in the shop. Um, all of the pieces, of course, it's a hand dye so they all have different levels of modeling throughout. Um, perfect for holiday ornaments, monochromatic designs. 
etc. Um, so I thought I have a variety here and then you can see make your own distinctions here so first of all one of my favorite go-to's for whites is legendary so it's a really creamy white it's not overly bright but it really just it just shows beautifully then we have milkshake which has that slight pinky tone. So I've brought the focus in just a little bit closer for you there. So this is legendary. That's milkshake. Then we have a little bit more toned down with frosting. And then an ecru in antique wedding dress, which is also quite nice. I think this would show better without the other whites on the linen. Do you have mollusk there? I do not. I'm gonna go for mollusk. So Carrie thought that mollusk would be a good fit. And I agree. I it's think it's not quite as yellow. Moloch is a little less warm. Yeah. And I think is a you're right. I think that's a better fit. So I would say we get rid of the antique wedding dress. And mollusk is your is your ecru answer. Yeah, those look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you wouldn't think of mollusk as being ecru, but No. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. So there you go. So just again, um, to give you a little refresher, that's Mollusk, Legendary, Milkshake, and Frosting. Milkshake is the pinkiest one Definitely. out of all of them. Frosting is a slightly brighter version of Legendary. There you go. Okay. Okay, so just quickly today, last thing I wanted to show you is we have some new bags in stock here at Evertote. We've got a new fabric print that we put into the shop. Um, we only had a couple, uh, we had only one bolt of this fabric. So everything, the entire um, inventory that we have for, for com completely is already listed. So once this is sold out, uh, this is it. So it is, I love this. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. So we've got the lemons, slice form as well. This, I love this accent. The notions pouch comes with it. And I think it's the white lining, usually with a bag like this, yeah. So it's just a clean white cotton lining. We've only got these in flat. So a medium flat fits an eight by 11 and a large flat will fit an 11 inch square Q snap. So that's our newest fabric. It's available in the shop now. And then we're loading in our patchwork bags. So my hope is that these will start to become a staple in the shop where we will post um, newest bags maybe once every couple of weeks and they will each have their own individual picture because they're all different. All patchwork bags will be found in the new items section on the website and I'll be deleting them once they're sold. So I'm just going to give you a really quick flip through of the bags that I'm going to be loading into the shop today. They will be in um, by the time this video is live. So there's the first one, second one. I love that one. Thank you. That's a good one. I mean, they're all good, but Thanks. I really like that. Are so, rooster? Yeah, this is a partridge. So oh, the roosters. Rooster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are roosters. So I make all the patchwork panels and then Matt finishes them into the bags. Got some notions on there. I love this fabric here. Mm -hmm. That's a mm, cotton and steel, I think. 
I have a few of these. So when they're really similar, I'll just do one listing and I'll put the quantity at two or three because I think I've got three of those. These ones here, um, this, this is mm, deep stash for me, some of my favorite, favorite fabrics um, from my personal stash. And I just, I had to make them up and I cannot use all of the bags that I can make. So <laughs> these are going in the shop. There, three of them will be listed as one listing. I think I've got two or three of this kind here. You can see they're, they're pretty similar. And then this one with the bird, I'll list separately because not everybody might want to get a bird. What? I know. <laughs> and then one more quick stack to show you. I'm actually going to, um, okay, so this one with the rabbit in the middle, bright red zip. I love these ones. These are all fabrics from my stash or bags that we've had in the shop in the last couple of years. Those feathers blue one, cats, polka dots. I think I've got a few of these ones left. These ones are really fun to make, but in various configurations. So yeah, those are the same. And then with the polka dots, instead of these ones have the, um, the X with the slight metallic in the fabric there and then these ones have the polka dots and that's it Cute. so all of these will be in the shop this afternoon okay and that's it for us thanks for joining us today for our floss toss <laughs> <laughs> this was fun yeah it we was should fun. do it again and i think we will i think we will have a great weekend everybody happy friday and happy stitching Bye.